Have you ever been to a wedding where you know the side chicks of the man who's getting married, you know, or you know the females who really desperately wanted that man and couldn't get him? The females who were dying to have him and he chose the female he's getting married to over them? Have you ever have you ever sat there really closely observed their facial ex expressions? Have you? Because I, I have. Hello, I have. It's awful. It's scary. They be sitting there like they're at a funeral instead of celebrating somebody's big day, somebody's happy moment, somebody forever happy moment. Let me tell you something. If you're that kind of female, let me tell you something. If you've been guilty of it, let me tell you something. The man, every straight man out there is constantly searching for his rib. Okay? He is, he is constantly searching for that missing rib. When he finds a rib, he observes the rib. He's looking at the exterior. You know why he didn't pick you? I'll tell you why he didn't pick you. When he picked up you as a rib and observed you, he saw that there were spikes. You were looking worn out, scratches, cracks. Your joints were all worn out. He observed the inside, gooey, smelly type of inside, you know, boom, you know, ribs not looking too healthy on the inside. You, you, you just look like you've been used and abused. You, you just look too rough. He couldn't trust that if he took you and stuck you in his rib cage, you would keep his organs safe. With that worn out joint, he didn't trust that when he sticks you in his rib cage, you will stay there. Uh -uh. With all that spikes worn out, you looking all crooked, not smooth, and shaped the way you're supposed to be shaped, so that he, 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 he can he can he can tuck you in. He's afraid that when he tucks you in, you're just gonna rip through his organs and destroy him. Madam, you were not. His rib. That's why he didn't choose you. Again, the way I describe you as a rib and as a woman he didn't choose. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just trying to say you couldn't look past your flaws. All the stuff I described, all the stuff I described as as as, as what he observed about you as a rib. I'm just trying that those are just your flosses. Okay? Is that a word? I think it's the word. I think it, those are just your flaws. He couldn't look past them. So, my dear, stop being mad at the people wedding. If you're that mad, then you shouldn't go there at all. Because they didn't need any of that negative energy. They didn't need somebody to come sit down as if to say their wedding day is a funeral. You be sitting over there, the food in your mouth, even though the food tastes good to everybody, to you, it tastes like doesn't have any salt. Because your whole physiological being is just off balance. Sweet food tasting nasty in your mouth. Because when you look at the girl and, 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 and how she, she and her man is bonding, the food starts to taste like poop in your mouth. When you take the drink, you can't even taste the, 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 the fruitfulness of the drink. It's tasting like pee, pee in your mouth because you're sitting there mad that you ain't the one walking down the aisle with that man.